हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल जैन स्पाइन हिंदी दोस्तों ये वीडियो हमें इंग्लिश में इसलिए करना पड़ रहा है क्योंकि अभी रिसेंटली जो हमने शॉर्ट बनाया था उसको काफ़ी ज़्यादा व्यूज़ आए हैं जो कि इंडिया और इंडिया के बाहर से भी लोगों ने काफ़ी सारे व्यूज़ और कमेंट्स इसमें किए हैं कि क्या इस वीडियो में हो रहा है एग्जैक्टली exactly. कोई कह रहा है मसाला डोसा बना रहा है कोई कह रहा है पास्ता बेस बना रहा है कोई कह रहा है इतनी सारी शीट्स क्यों है वो हरे कलर की क्यों है तो हमने सोचा एक वीडियो बना देते हैं जिसमें हम ये सारे क्वेश्चन के आंसर्स दे पाएंगे और एक सर्जिकल अवेयरनेस भी हम लोगों में स्प्रेड कर सके Coming back to explanation for this viral video, which has more than 22 million views, let me explain what exactly is happening in this video. Why we are doing what we are doing. Welcome to my channel Zen Spine Hindi. My name is Dr. Rakesh Thake. I'm a spine surgeon working in Mumbai. Now, walking through each step, what has been done in this video and why we do so. If you look at the very beginning of the video, what this person is doing is what we call scrubbing. Now scrubbing is a very important standard step that we do during surgery to prepare that particular surgical part which will be operated on. Now the primary goal of doing scrubbing is to clean that surface and reduce the microbial or contaminant load in the surgical area that we are going to operate on. Although we cannot completely sterilize that area but cleaning with antiseptic solutions like betadine significantly reduces the number of microbial load or skin organism in that particular area. Hence, it is important to scrub the part before we operate on. Now, this is the step that many people have commented if he's making a masala dosa, if that's a pasta sauce, if he's making a pizza base and whatnot. Now, what he's doing is what we call painting. Now, painting is spreading or putting an antiseptic solution like betadine, color of betadine you can see in this video. So betadine, we put it in a particular manner to sterilize or again kill the microorganisms in that particular area. Now why we do in circular motions? We usually start from the center of the surgical field and then in circular manner we move outwards because the center is the cleanest area that you just prepared and then you move outwards so that the risk of contamination from outwards to inwards or from the unclean to clean surface is minimized and you uniformly move from a clean area to unclean area, cleaning it as you go. It also minimizes dragging the contaminant from the unclean area to the clean area. Circular motion from center to periphery also ensures that it is uniformly cleaned and no gaps are left as you clean the surface. In comparison to if there was a random haphazard movement of the antiseptic cleaning, we would just drag the contaminants from outside to inside as we do haphazard random cleaning. Hence, random cleaning is not done, but a circular motion in and out is how we clean. And that is what you see this person doing in the video. The next step you can see in this video is putting a plastic blue color sheet before we put something else. Now, a plastic sterile sheet makes sure that there is a seal between the sterile field and the rest of the environment so that if there is any spillage of liquids on the sheet, there should be a layer that prevents that contaminant from the sheet to go underneath on the patient's body. So a plastic sheet makes sure that there is a proper seal between the sterile and unsterile field. It gives us extra surety that the area we are going to operate on is properly sealed and no fluid can enter from unsterile area to sterile area. Now, as we progress in the video, the next step that we are seeing here is putting green drapes. Now, the first drape that he is putting is on the bottom portion of the patient's body that covers below the patient's lower half of the body so that if any table is left uncovered, we are just making sure that it is covered and it is sterile. Then we put another sheet on the lower part of the patient's body and then so on. So to cover the rest of the patient's body with multiple sheets. Now, why we use so many sheets? Why not just a single whole towel? Yes, you can use a whole towel, but I would not do it for spine surgery wherein bone has been involved. So we don't want any infection to enter the bone. Maybe for smaller surgeries like soft tissue surgeries, you can use a whole towel but we don't usually use whole towel for spine surgeries because we have to be extra careful making sure rest of the parts are well covered. Now the primary goal of this draping or putting so many sheets is we want to isolate and be focused on only the surgical area and cover the rest of the area which are not operated on so that any contamination or any microorganism from the unprepared or rest of the area should not come to the surgical area. So we have to cover all of the rest of the area and leave only the surgical area open. Hence, 
we put so many sheets and cover rest of the body so that we can see and expose only the surgical area. Another common question asked in the comments of this video was, why do they use only green sheets or blue sheets? Why not any other color? The scientific reason behind this is, surgeons usually are looking in the wound, which is red in color because of the blood. Now, red is in contrast to green or blue. So, we should be able to easily distinguish between what is the surgical field area and what is the rest of the field. Hence, the surgical field is red and the rest of it is green or blue. Other reason is that green or blue color gives calming effect to our eyes because we are constantly straining at the surgical field and hence, that also has a calming effect to reduce strain on our eyes. Another reason is that green or blue fabrics reduce reflection or glares from bright or contrast surroundings and absorb those reflections improving visibility and reducing distractions. So this is an explanation of what we are doing in this video and why we are doing it. I hope you have understood the basic reasons of preparation, draping a surgical part so that we surgeons can make sure that surgeons surgical site infection is minimized and the patient does not suffer from infection or other complications happening from that and the surgical results are optimized and the patient results are better. And hence, practicing these minute minute steps is very important to have the best patient results and that is what we at Zenspine ensure that our patients are safe and have the best outcome possible. If you have any comments or any questions related to spine surgery, please do not hesitate to write below in the comment section or you can WhatsApp us on the number given below Monday to Saturday 9am to 9pm and we'll try our best to get back to you. Apologies that it takes time to get back to you but we'll try our best when we can. Thank you so much.